Great. Let's unpack this. Today, we're diving into a topic that's uh, been buzzing everywhere. How AI and large language models, LLMs, are changing the game. Specifically in the world of technical documentation, right? Exactly. We've got some really practical sources showing us, uh, well, a pretty powerful workflow. Mm. Our mission today is really to cut through the hype and show you exactly how accessible LLMs can be leveraged you know, to streamline some of the more repetitive tasks in tech writing. We're giving you a serious shortcut to efficiency, basically. Precisely. So here's where it gets really interesting. Our sources highlight that while there's this, like, flood of new LLMs out there. Yeah, things like DeepSeek or Elon Musk's Grok, <laughs> often free, open source even. Right. But many organizations, maybe understandably, lean towards solutions like Google Gemini usually because of internal security concerns. That makes sense. Corporate environments have different needs. Absolutely. But the good news is you can definitely use these accessible tools to your advantage, especially, you know, for tasks that feel more repetitive than creative. And what's fascinating here is how our sources really pinpoint a prime candidate for this kind of automation, writing product release notes. Ah, uh, yes. The classic. It's a task technical writers do constantly, right? Mm. And often, it follows a pretty similar structure each time. So it's ripe for templating, essentially. Exactly. And this deep dive shows us a clear step-by-step -step method to automate this using tools many organizations uh, probably already have. So, okay, what does this all mean for you, the listener? If your organization uses Google Workspace and Atlassian JRA, you're pretty much already set up for this. The foundations are there. Yeah. You just need to ensure you have the um, Jira Cloud for Google Sheets plugin installed. It's the official one. Right. Installed in Google Sheets. And that your Google Doc has the Gemini Help Me Write feature or, you know, the AI icon enabled. So it's about leveraging what's likely already available. Exactly. Making the existing ecosystem smarter. Okay. So this raises an important question then. How does the workflow actually uh, unfold? What are the steps? Good question. First, you open your Google Worksheet. Then you use that Jira Cloud plugin we mentioned to pull in the JRA tickets relevant to your release. So grabbing the raw data first. Precisely. Huh? And a smart approach mentioned is creating separate worksheets for different issue types. You know, like one for story, one for bug fixes, maybe support escalations. Ah, so you're pre-sorting the data to match the sections in your final notes. Clever. It makes the next steps easier and, importantly, opt for automatic synchronization that keeps your data current without you having to manually refresh. Okay, makes sense. Keep it live. What's next? Next comes a, well, a pretty clever trick highlighted in the sources. Using an open source LLM, the source mentions Grok, praises its accuracy for this task to generate a piece of JavaScript. Okay, interesting. Generating code to help with the writing? Sort of. This script then ports the content from your Google Sheet columns directly into a Google Doc. Ah, so it bridges the gap between Sheets and Docs mm -hmm. automatically? Exactly. You paste the script into Google Sheets via Extensions app script, you grant the permissions it needs, and, well, just like that, your raw text is sitting in the Google Doc. Wow, okay. That automates the copy-paste part significantly. But it's more than just moving text if we connect this to the bigger picture. How so? Well, the source suggests you can actually prompt the LLM to refine that script using specific JRA fields and those issue types we talked about. Like the bug descriptions or who fixed it? Exactly, those details. The LLM can use that info to pre-format the Google Doc itself, like putting things into sections automatically. So it doesn't just dump the text, it structures it too. Correct. It cuts down massively on the manual formatting you'd normally do. Okay, that's powerful. So the raw structured text is now in Google Docs. What about making it sound, you know, polished? Right, the final polish. This is where Google Gemini steps in. Inside Google Docs itself? Yes. With your raw text now there, you simply select it and use Gemini's rewrite option. The key, though, is crafting the right prompt. Prompt engineering, always crucial. Always. Something clear like, rewrite the selected text as polished release notes in a professional tone, keeping bullet points, or whatever fits your style. And you iterate until you like the result. Exactly. Once you're satisfied, you can save this entire setup the sheet, the script, the doc structure, maybe even the prompt as a template. Meaning next time, it's even faster. Drastically reduces your turnaround time for future releases. Mm. Turns a chore into a repeatable process. So wrapping this up, what's the big takeaway here? We've seen how combining uh, readily available LLMs, both open source like Grok for scripting, and integrated ones like Gemini for polishing. Mm, with existing tools like Google Workspace and JRA, 
can turn a really time-consuming, often tedious task like writing release notes into something much more streamlined, almost a templated process. The efficiency gains are uh, pretty clear. This doesn't just save time, which is great. Definitely valuable. But it also frees up technical writers to focus on more complex, maybe more creative tasks, the stuff that really needs their unique skills. That makes a lot of sense. Focus human effort where it adds most value. So this naturally raises an important question for you listening in. What other repetitive tasks in your professional life could be transformed by leveraging these kinds of accessible AI workflows? Yeah, what stands out to YU as the next area that's, you know, ripe for a deep dive into automation like this? Something to think about. 